Do you play Rain in Mortal Kombat 1? Well, here are the best cameos that you need to be using. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's go ahead and get into these cameos. So the first question you must ask yourself when playing Rain is what is my main objective? What is my game plan? And Rain's got a couple. He's got some good stuff up close, sure. But the majority of Rain's moves are kind of revolved around the spacing of the match, like where you are at on the field, including his traps. He's got a water shield for Pete's sake, so that way you can't be zoned out. His down, down, up ball allows you to go full screen. So you can already see Rain is definitely okay, you know, being full screen away from his opponent and up close. So my first choice as a cameo for Rain is Sector, and there's a couple different reasons why. First one is that teleport is just really good, especially as you're kind of already away from full screen. Using that uppercut is just so good. Especially if you catch your opponent off guard with it. Man, it is such a fun tool to use. And it brings the opponent towards you with those traps, allowing for more combo. Plus, we gotta get projectile, sure, but it is a bit slow. We have our air projectile, but now we have a missile as well. And we can make that a homing missile, of course. And just really pressure our opponent. Or giving us time to actually set our traps down that we want to set down. Honestly, you can be a hater all you want, but this makes Rain a really good zoner. Plus, we have a really good reset with Sector's forward cameo move. This restands our opponent into getting their option to get a wake up attack on us and allowing us to continue the pressure with our traps, set our portals up, whatever we gotta do as a rain player. Plus the idea of fire and water playing together is just so cool to me. Because we're setting up traps, we got projectile game going on. We're trying to get our portal set up. Frost is a really good option. She offers a full screen low freeze, allowing us to either get in our opponent's face or giving us the time to set our portals up. Or you can just simply use it in combos, of course, for even more combo extension. And same thing goes for Frost back cameo, the orb. This gives us the pressure on the field and the time that we need to set our portals up. You can actually do the orb and then your own trap as well. Making your opponent have to block that and the orb and you. It's just a lot of pressure that your opponent does not want to deal with. Another great option that I found for Rain is Kung Lao. And there's a couple reasons here. It was all, first of all, Rain's got a good projectile, but it is a bit slow. And Kung Lao offers us another projectile we can use. And it's a low hitting projectile as well. And it's pretty fast. It's actually a lot faster than our projectile, but also just helps out Rain zoning tools. And though we have our water shield, that's great. We're trying to get zoned out. But if we're tired of that and we just like can't keep our water shield up as much as possible and we don't have bars to enhance it, to walk with it, Kung Lao offers a great teleport to get into our opponent's face and get out of that zoning. Plus, just awesome combo extension is obviously a big thing for a lot of players. Kung Lao just gives Rain a ton of good tools that he needs in his kit. These are just my cameo recommendations for Rain, guys. Let me know down below who do you pair up with Rain and why. Don't forget to subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.